I'm loaded up and ready to go. Come on in here. Come on. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Um, tonight is the uncorking of Maker's Mark 101 on IG. So, I'd say that's appropriate. Barrel proof. BBS Live, the duo and Zingari Man collaboration. Beautiful set here. With that We've got the splash to go with it. And the trifecta. We've got the barrel proof x -trait. Beautiful woody bourbon scent. Nice little vanilla to it. Really, really nice stuff. Uh, brush today is my shimmering Trotter Handcrafts. Awesome brush. And I'm going to revisit the Evan Jagger D89. I've not used this in forever. So let's see. Does it do well? Does it not? I don't even remember. I remember it being fairly mild. So let's see, let's get it going. Hope everyone's had a good day. I was supposed to have a day off today, but that didn't work out. So um, I still put in a good full day today too. And I worked the weekend, so I'm not gonna get much rest. It's been very busy. and Fortunately, work has been extremely busy. And it's healthcare, so when they ask you to work, you work. Bye, Reed. Reed and Mandy just getting in from school. I had Jackson today, so I did work from home. I went ahead and loaded up just for video length time I'm trying to just get in kind of a quick shave here i am going back into the hospital to work tomorrow so i want to get a clean shave in and i gotta look nice for the uncorking tonight i can't do anything else about my face but i can shave it This is the shirt I'll be wearing tonight, so I'll try not to get too much lather on it. Do it with BBS Live, Nate and Mel, and Whiskey Morgue on Instagram. Should be a fun time. I'm going to do um, Uncorking of Makers 101, which I haven't tried yet. Um, and then I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with uh, Wild Turkey 101, which you guys know is very dear to me. All right, this is going to be enough for my lather. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get all picky with it. I'm just trying to get in a quick shave here. Mm. Tasty barrel proof. A little bitter. I'll give that a 2.15 on the tasteometer. All right, let's get going. Ah, uh, feather blade. Did not tell you that, but that's what it is. Well, and you saw it on the, the picture anyway. Yeah, go. Just a no-nonsense razor, you know. It does a good job. Doesn't require a lot of thought. But it produces a good shave.
it's uh, two days growth. It's not my favorite for a lot of days growth, uh, but it will still take care of it. Just takes a little more work. But it will still certainly take down multiple days growth. I love the scent on this. No, not the razor. Barrel proof. It's such a smooth, woodsy scent. A little vanilla scent in there to my nose and then like a little touch of coconut, like just a kiss of coconut. I've never kissed a coconut before, but I think that's what it's like. Mm, nice first pass. Oh, is this hair gel? Just kidding. For any one of you out there that's seen There's Something About Mary. Great movie. All right, let's keep her going. Because I don't want to talk, that's why. I don't have much going on today. I just worked. Did watch uh, Tennessee women's college basketball uh, play UConn last night and get smoked. They were getting smoked in the first half and then managed to come back and we're within two by halftime. And then UConn kind of took over after that. It's a great, you know, that rivalry. And Pat Summit was around coaching for Tennessee with, you know, her versus Gina Oriema from UConn was a, a wonderful rivalry. Um, now that she's gone, you know, still, there's a, a lot of nostalgia watching those games for me. She was taken at a young age from early Alzheimer's. And it stole the rest of her coaching career. You know, well, and her life. I think by the time that I knew that she had early onset Alzheimer's. She was she had passed away, with, you know, like within two years from that, from what I remember. Really sad. She was a big role model for a lot of women. Wonderful lady. All right, let's keep her going. Look at 
can really forward to this uncorking tonight. Definitely a mild eraser, no question. Even with the feather in it. Great beginner razor. Not that it's only for beginners, but for people just getting into wet shaving, it's a great way to start. I still personally prefer the Mercur 34C. I think it's just a little smoother, um, you know, for, for my hair. But this is a very good razor as well. I just like the 34C a touch better. I'm sure there are plenty out there that would not agree with me. That is the beautiful thing about wet shaving. And choice in general. Choose what you want. What works better for me may not work better for you. Your mileage may vary, as they say. All right, I'll do just a little quick clean up in the problem areas. <clears throat> just love this scent so much. Your mama making weekend beverage. I'm sure it's rated G. It's probably like a Shirley Temple. Pretty good here. Not looking for a BBS today, just just doing some work. There we go, and that's gonna do it. Nice job, DE89. Once again, not my favorite, but you can still get a good shave out of it. And just if you want to get real close, just prepare to do a little, a little more work. Which is fine. I don't mind shaving for a while. Woo! This water's cold. It's five o'clock somewhere. Hey, get off my video. I heard you're talking. These people don't want to see you. They're here to see me. I'm the show. They just saw my Dr. P and Vanilla V. I'm the show. Don't try to be my my headliner. I don't need anyone on this tour. My wife's trying to steal my views. I know she's better looking than me. That's fine. No big deal. All right. Let's get the splash going. Really nice soothing splash formula. Great stuff. I 
All right, and a little unscented sago balm. Mm. Good stuff. Very moisturizing. Really nice scent on it. The best unscented scent, unscented scent in wet shaving. Hey, nobody does unscented better. You can take that to the bank. That unscented scent lasts all night too. Really great projection. fine maybe it's not funny all right and let's finish it off with the x-rate i gotta smell boozy before i get boozy awesome stuff thank you guys for joining me please join tonight um instagram nine o'clock eastern time for the uncorking of makers mark 101 um it should be a really good time i hope you have a great weekend i'll see you on the next one peace